Alright guys, welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom, and this is Jeff, and this is Austin, Monkey Like Shiny, and Art Machinin? Yeah. You on <laughs> AR. AR. AR Machinin on Instagram, Instagram, right? He stole his domain name, so now it's Yeti not. Man on, yep. uh, on Instagram. Yep. So uh, these guys cleaned out their closet and uh, found a bunch of, what would you call this stuff? High dollar items. High dollar items. Oh, okay, so they're... This is the inflation part here. So <laughs> I mean, we should always upsell. Yeah, we should always upsell. <laughs> right. They came out to do uh, the second annual horse trade, right? That's right. So, uh, we lost our companion, Gabe. He's sick with. He's homesick today. Oh, so. he is. Well, he's going to miss out on that's what, happens, so. that's what happens when you have a rigorous work <laughs> Yeah, he, he works for Tesla's R and D department, and they're they're ch chomping at the bit. To, do all the new stuff, and so he's working. He was probably right. working this weekend, right? Yeah, he works all the time. Really? So. Okay. It's good. So anyway, uh, they brought out some cool stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it, and uh, and I'm gonna drag out some of my higher end items. Um, <laughs> so high dollar, uh, high dollar, <laughs> high end, high dollar. You know, it's kind of the same, right? Yeah, kind of the same. And uh, see if we can uh, do a little horse trading here. What do you think, guys? All right. I, mean, I don't know. These are some big ticket items, so I'm, I'm expecting some yeah. big ticket things. You are. I came with my eyes on the prize, <laughs> so get ready. Well, this isn't all they brought. The, the, the truck's outside, and it looks like it's got a little bit of weight in it, so uh, we might go look at that a little later. So uh, <laughs> let's look at some of this neat stuff that they brought. All right, well, show me what you guys got. Let's, let's hear the story on this. Here. All right, so we'll start out here. You we want to start with this? Yeah, we'll start with this because this is a, that we're, when we're talking big dollar items, we're talking now this, big this, dollar items. This, that, that <laughs> this is a fine piece of American iron, right? Guess what it says on the side? It says Dodge. <laughs> Good <Right>? guess. Okay. <laughs> what do we got? This is a Dodge Torque Arm Speed Reducer. Okay. So I think well, it looks like it still turns, right? I mean, we came out with a plan on this one. That's why we what put it in our truck. What did this turn out of? Uh, is it out of a bandsaw or something like that? No, but it's a. It's like probably like what twenty something. That one. Did that one come from South Africa? No, no, that was the hand wheels. So I don't know what it exactly is, but you know, it goes from a double V belt to like a basically like a two inch shaft with a with a actual key in it. Fifteen to one ratio. So. So 15 turns here, just one turn on this. But look at that! Look at that, how big that is. I mean, that's that's a yeah, beast, that's a, you know. So you're a good size you're board. making some power off of it. So we had a plan when we yeah. came out. What was we were plan? wondering if uh, this 15 to one ratio might match your etching press wheel right there. We want to no, do a trade. I'm sorry, that's higher. It's 18 to one, so it's more valuable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but the size and everything, I mean, we're pretty much the exact same. We were thinking we would use that on another project, so that's oh, what? why. You're looking to trade we're for that or what? Trade, yeah. Straight up for that. Now, I notice you're laughing when you're saying that, well, right? Because so. I'm trying to hold a straight face, but he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I don't know if that's going to work out, guys. Uh, I hope you it's didn't a have, dodge, though. I hope you didn't have your heart set on that, but that's made in America, too. I know, right? exactly. From I don't know that might be Chinese steel though. So never uh, know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know about that steel. I mean, we're not asking for the hand wheel. We're just asking oh, for oh, the gearbox. Oh, just the gearbox. Oh, oh, well, that's different. That's we have different, the hand wheel yeah. already. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I don't know. I don't. I don't have any projects that need a, uh, a an, an additional speed reducer, but uh, I don't know. Maybe we should make a set of uh, uh, big rolls. That might be pretty cool. That would be pretty good, huh? Or make like some really big diameter rolls and only do like a foot. That yeah, just like, short ones, so like a ring roller or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and right? you can do like, you know, half inch but, or whatever plate. But you have one, right? Yeah, but I, but it, I have the little diacro. That's no, an arm don't you have a, does it your, uh, you have a tube bender, right? That's yeah, a three roll tube yeah, bender? Yeah, I have a Bailey tool, tube bender, but that one like, can you I mean, put straight rolls on it? Yeah, yeah, and you can like you can go out like probably up to. So you really need to support inches. it on either side. Yeah. To, to really do like heavy, heavy stuff, I think you'd have to. Mm. Plus the you want the rolls big too. Yeah. So I, I don't you know it'd be a super cool project. Mm. Well, okay, let's keep going here. Let's uh, let's scoot this over here. <laughs> <laughs> I think you 
should we should talk about our main sale we came here for. Electronics. Oh, oh, so yeah. when you trade us some of your high dollar items for yeah. these high dollar items, uh -huh. you're actually getting 300 of each of these. Wow. <laughs> because and they'll come semi-packaged. Semi packaged. So, semi packaged, Buckets? semi working, and Buckets? straight off the boat. Straight off of the boat. So, how did you guys come into. We can't give our sources away oh, because we don't want you to work into our system. <laughs> <laughs> Those are trade secrets. Uh, I don't know. Wow. Those are, off, the look Those of are off of a printer, an HP printer. <laughs> yeah. So, you're going to get 299 with this commitment. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to leave these as samples. Well, this feels like a step or two. So. We'll actually even throw this in if you're interested. A, a Dayton fan. Well, you guys really dug deep here, I see. We went all That's out. a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I know okay. inside your brain it's racing on what I, you can do yeah, for these I items. Know. Actually, it wasn't really thinking about it. <laughs> Anything in connection I with I think these. the proper way to showcase our next item is to make sure that we get it on the side where you can see the braze. Wow. Now that's a heck of a repair there. Someone now what is this? went is this all a, out on is this. A, oh, Rock Island. Oh, Rock Island, yeah. Rock Island 571. Nice jaws. Look at those jaws. They're, yeah. they're set in there. I just love that, uh, that shape there. They get a cool shape. But somebody wailed on that one, huh? Yeah. That's a three inch or three and a half, something like that. So it's, it's a, a little small. It's a good size. That would be a good one to mount on the back of your Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a nice addition, right on the tailgate. It still works, you know? If I didn't have, uh, you know, uh, my wife was uh, noticing, she actually noticed all my vices. Uh oh. And uh, she's doing a head count on them. Yeah, I know it wasn't good because uh, she's got. How come you have so many vices? I go, I don't have that many vices. And then she started pointing at them, and I was like, uh oh, I think I have a problem. <laughs> I have a lot of vices, so uh, I don't count out what you need that one. This isn't, one this isn't on the want list, this is on the need list. Oh, I think yeah, you need this that. deserves, uh, we need to zoom in on this one yeah. and get a kind of a close up on I mean, this. I wire wheeled it to reach. Trademark, right the trademark, yeah. So, this is so yeah, so, uh, hmm. What do we have? Three inch. It's a three inch. This is Look at the nice repair there. I wish there. I could take credit for that. It, you didn't do that? No, I do didn't. You, do you know how to braise? No, I actually don't. Oh, that's, oh. That's oh they not. don't teach that in aerospace welding school, no. right? You don't braise turbine blades no, and no. Uh, things like that for engine parts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, oh, I get a little name tag there. Uh, Wonder what the you can put a you can end mill out behind oh, here. Oh, wait you a can second. end mill this out and then make a secret stash spot oh, from the boss. Say? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a uh, this is an ID tag um, for wherever you stole it. From, I mean, uh, acquired this from. Careful. <laughs> Sometimes that um... something electric company it says. Right off the front of the truck. <laughs> right off the right off Pacific the back. Pacific Gas and Electric now. And then that's where they send me an email asking for the bus. I have to wire brush that. It says something Nathan Electric Company. I don't know. I have to I have to scrape that off and take a look at it. Okay, well let's keep going here. This is a uh, certainly interesting. Uh, an interesting piece. What do you got over there? There you go. This is a this is a me. That's you. Yeah. This is you. Yeah. Handcrafted hmm. by our buddy Don. Oh, Bailey. Don, Bailey. Don yeah. Bailey. Yeah. This is America's Don Bailey. Tool maker. This is a. Uh, it looks a little stiff. It's a muscle. Into it. Boy, <laughs> it's a. It's a. It looks a little stiff. Well, it, but I think it just but, needs a. But I was watching one of your videos the other day, and you said that you were looking for things to regrind. Yeah. Well, <laughs> certainly. Looks like it needs to be reground. So that is a signed vice, actually. It's not bad, though. Now let's pop the pin out of it. Let's see how this behaves. It feels pretty good still. Well, it. Uh, where did you? Did this come out of the bay or what? Um. 
the water, I mean. Can't, again, <laughs> trade secrets. We can't give away our locations yeah. ah. where we're acquiring It's actually, tools. that's quite the large vice, though, huh? This is the, Jeez, that's is this like, the four? This is the four inch, right? Probably. This is 411, yeah, so. I bet Don Bailey could work this baby right back into a new So oops, It'll hold six inches, that's for sure. Huh, that's an interesting bit. Ground down uh, in rolls there, but it's a little <laughs> stiff. <laughs> yeah, but that's that, a little D40 will fix that. <laughs> and also, it's nice because once you get your once you put your blocks in there, you can take your blocks out and it holds position. <laughs> It'll stay permanently. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. That way you don't have to worry about damaging the, your blocks. The, there's Jeff going on the regrind. Yeah. yeah. So someone wow. wailed on this thing pretty hard, and then I I re I just did a light regrind. A, a light regrind. What? You should have seen how it tore up. Oh, it really? Was. It, this yeah. one must have hit uh, when someone was milling. It must have hit the holder. Oh, really? And this it got like yeah. This and like half it. the holder was in there, and you can tell there's still chunks of it left in there. So I just did a light dusting on the on the machine. <laughs> <A> light dusting. <laughs> Take this off a, cosmetic just dusting, a, right? I just cleaned her off a stint. <laughs> RCH. Yeah, yeah, a little RCH removal there. Right? Finest unit known to man. Oh, that's <laughs> Not even it. Don Bailey can get into the RCH levels. Yeah, well. Yeah. Uncle Don. <laughs> Uncle Don. All right, well, that's an interesting piece. A signed vice. All right. What do you? What else you got here? Oh, man. Uh, what's in that briefcase? That's an a, a exploratorium briefcase. Yep. Do I need security clearance to look in here? Oh, the label's not on the side that opens. I think the correct way would be to put this in there. Oh. So we got a hardened package deal here. Let's scoot that over. We're talking big ticket yeah. items here. This here is a, uh, this, I, I don't remember which one it is. It's the, uh, it's the H4A. H4A. So that one, Model X. So it doesn't have the threads, but it has the nose with mm -hmm. the key. But it's five so, C inside. Yeah, yeah 5C it's five C. Yeah. Um, now, uh, this, this baby has some history. Let's run through the history. Yeah, first, yeah. Let's hear, right? the, let's hear the history. So this uh, this baby came out of the uh, some secret blueprints. Oh, almost. I'm this, sorry. Yeah, I didn't actually uh, see that. So. Okay. This baby uh, came out of the FMC factory in oh, San Jose. Okay. FMC, for all the viewers, is the plant that built all the Bradley tanks. Oh, okay. Those are the aluminum ones, right? Yep. They're made out of yep. like armor, aluminum armor plate or whatever. Amazing. Such a cool factory. Um, they've been downscaling it because the Bradley is getting replaced, oh, <laughs> basically. Okay. So they oh. really haven't built any Bradleys in like probably 15, 20 years, but like. But it's such a rad, rad little factory how they have it all set up. This uh, feels like there's something wrong well, with it. Well, there might be a little bit of, <laughs> I mean, I would say the grease hasn't been used in a while. They haven't been so, making Bradley say, tanks in a while. You're so saying the, the grease is a little <clears throat> stiff? Basically what we're saying is that it'll make some good content. <laughs> oh, I see. And that's yeah. why we feel it has more value than if it worked. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, I see. So it actually increases its value because yeah. now it can become a. Uh, you can take it apart and show people how to rebuild these uh, hardened. And we will devices. throw we'll throw in all these emergency collets. Yep. Oh, these are all emergency collets. Well, there's some oh, in yeah. here. There's some real ones in there. Oh, there's a real one. Oh, hey, that's. <laughs> that's <laughs> We've been busted already. Enco, wait a minute. I, I don't know, man. I don't we know. already spotted. Enco, it. another one. Oh my God, you're slipping in the the, the crud here. here. If we go like this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's it's like putting a pair of pants on it, man. Right? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Yeah, that would be a it would be an interesting project. It seems to be seized. Um, it seems to be I mean, locked up. It could be something super simple inside of it. I, I don't it, know. It, it could it probably. No, no, is. I'm sure it's complicated. Um, I I mean, it could just be yeah. like you know. I'm sure it's complicated, and it'll take a lot of work to fix it. Perfect. So uh, <laughs> therefore, it's worthless. I mean, that's up to you what you value content at. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. Well. 
you know, if it's dollars per click, this is not <laughs> worth uh, worth that much, right? Uh, it seems to go in there okay still. All right. I don't know. Uh, does the briefcase come with it or what? Hell no. Not oh, a yeah. chance. Not a this chance. Thing is, this thing is, this is my on the road briefcase. Oh, it is, huh? For All right, let me, let's, deals. let's reset the camera and we'll look at some more stuff. Action. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. Welcome back, Ox Tool Party, take 10. <laughs> So uh, what's next? This looks like I stuff off I, of Newmore or I something. I don't know. I would say these are some hot, hot ticket items right here. Is it, this is some kind of art or what? What is that? This would be some G10. What 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 are all these uh, what are all these white things? Well, pre delaminated. Uh, pre what we call it. So this. So okay, for all you guys out there, uh, this is an epoxy laminate here. Okay, and. Um, um, Jeff, actually, you water jet cut these, right? Yep. Yeah, he, Jeff so. has a water jet machine at his shop, yep. and he cut this out. And explain what happened here so people understand okay. uh, what's going on. So basically, we have a, a six-axis Omax water jet, um, and this was a job for who knows what the... I don't know. Who don't was know. It? Yeah. So, it, and basically, it came about, about and... Uh, and basically it was a few small little parts, some round circles with a bunch of holes in it and stuff. So it looks like it came from McMaster. Oh uh, yeah, McMaster. So yeah. one of the cool things about it is like, you know, this G10 is if you figure out like the tricks of the trade to water jet cutting it and uh -huh. stuff like that, you don't have to machine it, which is awesome just for the fact that it generates a lot of dust. Okay. As you it cuts it cuts well on the water jet, but it what's does. the problem with the when you pierce, right? So when you pierce, because it's built up in layers, so imagine like carbon fiber or anything else, it's built up in layers of sheet with epoxy. So what happens basically like you'll see some of these spots. Um, so I was doing a <laughs> test, I would say. Oh, that, that was, was, so, so this is the learning side. This here, is the right? learning side, okay. and these are actually like to spec parts. <laughs> no, <laughs> some okay. of these other holes. Um, but one of the crazy parts about it is like there's ways and tricks to like pierce it without having to pre-drill and the reason oh. you pre-drill is um, you drill a small little hole and then the water jet uh, goes through that little 1 16th hole and then once it gets the garnet which is like the sandblasting media mm -hmm. once it gets that moving then you can make your cut and everything's great but some people don't have that pre-drill option uh, so, so like, it's a drilling head that goes on the water yeah, jet it's, itself right? yeah and it's an air drill and it Basically, it like goes in, drills a hole, goes away, and then it comes back through and it pierces through that hole and then it starts its cut. Okay. So, what, what you're seeing here on these bubbles, basically like, I tried to do a bunch of tests to see if I could get it to, to pierce. And it's crazy because, you know, basically what happens is it, yeah, there you go. So, see, it, one of the, it made a hole through, it's like, one of the layers. like this is a good example right here. So it originally made its way through the part and cut out the proper circle, but in the in the process it like basically like delaminated a slight bit of it mm -hmm. and the water pressure because you're using about 55,000 psi of water plus that garnet it has to go somewhere in the initial pierce through and so as it's ricocheting as it comes back out of the hole that it's piercing it works its way sideways between oh. the layers and so you get these like bubbles basically okay if you drill it if you drill it and then do the pierce through it you don't get that so okay. so what's like uh so what's one of the what are the tricks for uh, piercing if you don't have if you don't pre-drill? Is there do you start farther away and then come yeah, in so or uh, depending what? on what it is? So there's a few options. Omax is working on a they just released a, a vacuum assist which basically helps uh, get the garnet flowing before the water jet actually happens, oh, okay. which is a huge factor because then... So abrasive comes out immediately. Immediately, then. as opposed to water then abrasive because ah, the water okay. does the movement. Um, so that's one option, but I mean the other option is is to really just start from the edge and come into the part, right? Sure, yeah. Which is good and bad, right? So on a part like this, if there's a bunch of holes in the center, you're only going to have the blank cut out. You'll still have right. to put it in for a second. So something drain. like this, where you have an interior hole, that's where you yep. get into trouble. There, yeah, right? and yeah. so there's tricks of the trade to do it. Like a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll basically like 
they'll rerun the program without the water jet on and some mm -hmm. people like tape markers like they'll tape a sharpie mm -hmm. to the water jet head or they'll use just like low pressure water to like show where it's going to start mm -hmm. and so then they'll make a little mark there and they'll drill a hole oh just with a hand with drill with a hand drill ah, and then okay, they'll go right. back through and i mean that saves you a lot of money on the having you know because that sure. that drill is like almost well, ten thousand dollars right so. and this might not be something that you're cutting every All day the time, or so right? yeah and it in the you know once you start to like a lot of water jet people will stray away from doing it because mm -hmm. of the high risk factor sure. of having this happen so like this well is, yeah this is probably over a hundred bucks yeah, for this piece exactly. of material right yeah. and the and the material is awesome it's such a it's i mean it's totally like an insulator and it there's some guys on the web that uh and i don't know if you follow any knife makers on uh, they instagram for they handles. make these uh, handles for our knives totally. out of g10 that just look fantastic so uh, so like a lot of people like won't do it just for the risk factor of screwing mm -hmm. up a big sheet and you know the the thicker you get the more expensive it gets and so like yeah. You know, for doing a lot of those big thick pieces, a lot of people request it like over an inch thick sometimes. So, so. You're, you're basically trying to get this out of your shop because you don't want to cut it anymore. Well, I, you know, <laughs> there's still a usable piece here in the corner. So yeah, yeah, that's nice. Right. Knives, that's so nice. I brought you some quarter inch and some half inch. Ooh, the half inch. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. We're talking big dollars. Huh. We only got to charge you per square inch on these. Oh. <laughs> What do we got here? Is this some little uh, mounted points? Well, these are, I mean, this is, I think this is a... Oh. Should we open this? Yeah. Are you ready for this? This hasn't even been opened yet. Last time this bot was boxed up, I think it was... I when, you know, it. Where, when, you, when you moved your shop? Big ticket. Just Gasters? take a guess. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, actually what's, it's actually what's in there. Wow, Steel USA casters? Yeah. <laughs> or these are Straight off of Kennedy. <laughs> straight, oh, no, these are Kennedy. Uh, they actually do look like Kennedy ones, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Kennedy casters. We just brought those because they were, they were like just sitting there. Are, are these, seriously, are these Kennedy casters? Yeah. No kidding. Four so they make their cabinets in, uh, they make their cabinets in the United States, yep. but they buy Chinese wheels. That's actually kind of sad, isn't it? Yep. They don't use Albion or uh, what's the, uh, what are yeah. one of those other it's guys? It's too that, easy. It's too easy just to is. buy them. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Let's let's move the camera a little bit and let's see what see what else we got here.